Welcome to Feature Spotlight number three for Duck and Dodge. I am Rob. And this is JC. Uh, I'm an artist and programmer on the game, and JC does the marketing and the uh, Our game is inspired by old arcade classics that we played for a while and got all the best features out that we liked. Uh, this one is more like a Frogger type deal where you have to dodge traps and avoid obstacles to get to the end. Our game is still in development, but if you like what you see, follow us on social media and follow our newsletter. Uh, yeah, we like to put out a lot of content, show you guys what we're working on, but we can only do we can only do so much with little images and gifts on Twitter. Uh, so we put together these little feature spotlights to basically go over what each major update does. Yeah, this this update right now uh, covers uh, the reward system. Yeah, all of our tips and rewards have been replaced with note cards where the, uh, the, it's nice and drawn out on top of the, the note card so you can really understand like what is it trying to tell you. Uh, because honestly, there are too many times where uh, people want to read like blobs of text. They just want to play through the game. So pictures are a nice way to just get across those concepts. Yeah, the, the, I think the point is really to make it feel like a little celebration every time you get a reward. Like when you can use those coins to buy a new character. Uh, this is our new character right here, Theodore Beaver, uh, which is inspired by the 1950s show Leave It to Beaver. Uh, we wanted a beaver character, and we knew that, and uh, it, our heads just went to there as soon as we thought of it. Yeah, I've always wanted to have a beaver in my, in my game for some reason. I just think they're kind of cute. And this guy is like super cute. He looks really different from the other characters. He's just kind of fun to look at. He's got these little sticks and the teeth coming out. I, I think he's my current favorite character. Yeah, he's just got like his own pose and everything going on. Some of the other things that we added, like uh, at nighttime, there used to be fireflies, but we've updated their texture so that they look more like fireflies instead of just like transparent orbs floating around. Um, and along with that, we've uh, changed the buttons, the way the buttons look in the game. So instead of just kind of like highlighting and shadowing, they like crinkle as if they're a piece of paper that you're trying to poke down. Yeah, definitely our, our goal is try to make every element feel unique as possible so that everything is, is a different experience. And to that effect, what we've done is we've played with the level generation so that there's these different zones that will generate according to a style. Um, and in these zones, we'll have things like unique doodads and uh, just a look, different look and feel. Yeah, so uh, before in the game, we had marshes, grasslands, rivers, canyons, and this is the new one, forests, where each one uh, uses the same set of traps but presents a different obstacle. Like, rivers will have lots of logs that you have to jump through, and marshes will have a lot of lily pads, and forests have these trees that block you and kind of, like, make you move around or find a different path to go. Uh, and along with that, each zone has its own doodad set. So, uh, canyons will get more rock doodads, uh, marshes will get more cattails, and then as you, you can see up there, there's a little like mini tree growing out, and that's specific to the forest. So, for our next build, we want to take this idea of zones to the next level, where it doesn't just generate a few things that look different, we want the entire environment to feel different. So this is going to be kind of our, our green biome, where things are kind of grassy and it's trees, but we're also going to have a white biome, a snow biome, where things are going to feel like frozen tundra. And to make things play different, we're also going to include new traps for every biome. So there's a, a new challenge that even if you get a level where you play before, it's going to be different because of the unique trap that's in there. Yeah. You know, if and if uh, this is a popular feature, we're going to add even more biomes to mix up that, di that diversity. Yeah, we always like to get your feedback on things. And, uh, having a different area is definitely something people have wanted to see for a while. 
So, like we said, the major point of this update was just changing lots of little things to make the game feel better. So, but uh, try it out for yourself and see if you like the changes and give us feedback. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good night. Alright, so um, let's do this. One, two. Ouch. Welcome to. Oh, no, but. <laughs> I tripped over a trash can and spilled everything. Oh, no. <laughs>